Hey everyone, my name is Kendra and welcome back to This Cozy Space. For today's video, I just wanted to sit and have a chat with you, a little chin wag, if you will, about uh, our move and how we have currently been living in Utah for six months. I can't believe it, six months. Although when you say six months, it doesn't sound as long as when you say half a year. When I say half a year, I feel like I deserve a badge. I don't know why, because it's been amazing, but I just feel like I did it for six months in a state that I'd never been to, uh, living in a home that we purchased through a video tour. I guess we toured it through a video tour. And then moving to a city we knew nothing about. Not only am I going to update, how th update you on how things are going in Utah, I also wanna chat with you a little bit about another change that happened after we moved here, and that is that we are now a homeschooling family. So go and grab yourself something warm or cold, whatever you want, um, and come back and let's get cozy together and chat. Are you gonna do this with me? Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello. Oh my goodness. This is interruption number 10, but look at how cute. Um, both dogs and the boys are here, so wish us luck with this video. Oh, what a good sweet boy, huh? Are you gonna, do you wanna tell everybody, <laughs> do you wanna tell everybody how you've been doing in Utah? How have things been going for you? Good? Have they been going good? I think so. I think he's happy. Both dogs are happy. But let's talk about us, okay? Do you have something warm, something cozy to enjoy while we chat? So a little while ago, I posted a video. Uh, this is like a vlog, I think. And I was folding clothes. And during that time, we talked about why we, were, we moved to Utah and how it all came to be. So here we are six months being in this home in a new state and i'm happy to report that we are happy we are happy we are thriving we are not just surviving sorry i had to do that we are doing so well and we are falling more and more in love with utah every single day Wow, how did we, Utah wasn't even on our radar. We talk about places that we would wanna go visit, road trip to, and Utah never came up in discussion. And I feel that I need to apologize to Utah because it is beautiful. Yeah, I did that, I sure did, I sure did. Y'all, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And we're in Southern Utah, which is kind of like the best of everything. So we have that really cool Red Rock Mountain vibe, deserts, Joshua trees. I'm looking out my windows as I chat with you. We have mountains in the front of our home. We have mountains behind our home. I have mountains I can see out my uh, laundry room and window. So we're surrounded by mountains and it's not like you have to drive. Some places that have mountain ranges, you have to drive a little bit to see them. But in our area, they're everywhere. You can see them all the time. And I'm so incredibly lucky and feel very grateful that I do get to see these awesome mountains that I've always wanted to live next to mountains. So we have all these great desert adventures. There's great lakes out here. We have Snow Canyon. Look it up. It's so beautiful. That's pretty close to us. We have Pioneer Park, which is also stunning. Um, we're not too far from Zion and um, many, many other attractions. So people come here to vacation and I can't believe we're actually calling this our home. It just doesn't feel real still. Um, and we're sucking in every single ounce of all of the nature and the outdoors that we can. We're outdoors as often as possible as we can possibly be. The other thing I love about this area is the temperatures are very mild. When we got here, it was summertime, so everybody was talking about the heat, but we had come from Texas where you can literally cut the humidity with a knife, um, and there's no humidity here. So. We ate outside at a patio one day and it was like 102 and to us it felt amazing and we're not used to this. So for us, it was a great summer. We were out all the time. Whereas in Texas, if you just walked to your car, we would be dripping with sweat and we didn't really go out a ton in the summer. But this last summer we were biking. You could still be out in the morning and the evenings and it was still kind of cool enough. Like you could go for a walk or whatever, which was really great. Um, and the other thing I love about this area is that we can drive 30 minutes up into the mountains and the mountains they completely do they change they go from like a dry a red rocky like beautiful think of like a like a crazy awesome sunset that's what the mountains out here remind me of they're just 
oh they're so beautiful anyways 30 minutes up the mountain they completely change and they look more like the rocky mountains like there's rock formation but there's lush pine trees everywhere and they get snowfall so we don't actually get a lot of snowfall in southern utah it happens occasionally but it's not something that happens every single winter and continuously um, but we can drive up into the mountains and we can enjoy the snow and we've already done that um, and the boys got to throw snowballs and like run through the snow and it was just when there was just a little bit the roads were still pretty easy to drive on we don't have a four-wheel drive yet so it makes it a little bit tricky for us to do stuff like that but we were able to go up and enjoy the snow for a bit and then um, in the summer when you drive up that same mountain area the temperatures are a lot cooler so you can camp up there in the summertime and just be outdoors if you just kind of want to get away from the hundred plus temps it's like 30 minutes away it completely changes and I think that's so cool and we have loved that in fact right before um, fall ended a lot of the places that we were visiting up in the mountains they close like towards the tail end of fall and throughout winter because of snowfall so we spent a bunch of time up in the mountains during the spring and summer just we would do something we call day camping so we rent a campsite for the day we don't stay overnight but if the fire ban is lifted we can do a fire pit and we can um, just explore and play around the campsite and my husband has a hot spot he would take his hot spot and he would work from the car and I would school the boys outside and they would run and play in the trees and then he would take a break and we'd sit around the fire it's like the stuff that dreams are made of and we we wanted to get as much out of it as we could so we would often go like back to back to back we made friends with the camp i don't know what they're called like host i guess and they knew us and we always got the same spot i don't know it was so fun whenever they closed i was sad i didn't know that they did that i was picturing us being able to go out most of fall and maybe into early winter but we couldn't they're all shut down um, anyway, so we are loving the outdoors a ton. We are loving having a more active lifestyle and uh, we try to be outdoors as often as possible. The other thing we're really loving about Utah is the people. Um, coming from the south, south, te south in Texas, actually, uh, southern hospitality is a thing and people for the most part are lovely and full of that southern charm and we have traveled before and have gone to other areas and i had noticed a big shift in how people interact and how they speak to each other and i didn't think it would affect me but it actually like it kind of made me sad and i remember this one time we were somewhere for a week i'm not going to say where it is because i don't want to offend anybody but we were in this particular area for a week and it was so long where people were just they weren't intentionally rude but they just don't have the time to they just don't have the time so everything is like very like da -da 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 -da. it's like short and to the point which i think is lovely also and it serves a purpose right but um I kind of was missing my my southern my southern folk and people around of the southern kind and I went up to Starbucks to order and this guy at the window was like hey what can I get you how's your day going and I was I was so caught off guard and it threw me for a loop I couldn't get my drink order out I was stumbling on my words and I told him after I placed my order, like, that is so kind. Thank you for being so friendly. And you have no idea what kind of joy you just put into my heart today. And I'm sure he thought I was a nut job, but it really did make me so happy. And we knew that we were moving to Southern Utah. I did a ton of research and I had read that the people here are lovely and they are so lovely. Oh my goodness, they're so lovely. And that makes me happy because I've, I'm born and raised in the South and I love so many things about being in the South and I am very comforted by like that type of personality and that Southern hospitality where some people might find it annoying. It's warm and inviting and cozy to me um, and I'm finding a lot of that here too. Something else that I love about the people here is that a lot more people are chill. There's a huge retirement community out here and so a lot a lot of people have a bit more time in their day and they're willing to kind of invest in just the community and society as a whole in the area and it's a beautiful thing i've seen so many beautiful acts of kindness i've been a part of some of these acts of kindness and people just doing the sweetest thing and they may not realize what 
is involved with their gesture or how that's coming off or who's seeing it or whatever but because i'm new to the area and i'm constantly like taking everything in it's just a beautiful thing to see and it's very warming to my heart so the people here are lovely and welcoming um along those same lines i wasn't sure if i would make any friends and honestly i told myself this is all about my boys i wanted them to thrive and be happy if i made friends like great but that's not my goal i would just read i have books like all the books and I love to read and I will find my friends and the pages of books and I'll be totally fine but I've come out here and I've made friends like really awesome friends friends that have brought me so much joy and friends who have taught me things about friendship in just a short amount of time and we've really bonded and a lot of us have same we're different we're different in a lot of ways but a lot of my friends that I'm making are homeschool families as well so it's really awesome to kind of bond with people who have some of your same ideas as far as like schooling and and uh, raising children and that's been really great and refreshing and not only have I made friends which is like the cherry on the top but my boys are making a great little community out here they're setting down those roots and they're spreading out and they are thrilled they even have buddies they call their best friends people that we see several times a week and you know as an adult it's kind of hard to make friends and back home I'd been in that state for so long and I'd had my friends that I'd had forever and my friends that I'd met through my school where I taught and I felt great but being thrown into a new state where I we don't we don't know a soul out here besides our real estate agent that we met in the process and a couple of people through Kent's company um, but no like family or real friends or anybody out here to kind of like lean on or build that community with. So I just didn't know what to expect. Um, there's a really big LDS community out here and we are not LDS. So I thought that that might, uh, I don't know. I didn't, I don't know. You just read so many things and I read all the things before we moved out here and I've heard all the stories and um, ours is just not like that. Um, people have been so welcoming and inviting of different types and sizes and stripes and patterns and I don't know. I'm just trying to say like all the different things have, I've seen it all kind of come together out here and it's beautiful. It's so beautiful and refreshing and I feel extremely lucky and grateful to be a part of it. So we're loving the outdoor lifestyle. The boys are thriving. They're making friends. I am making friends. What? I don't know, but I am. And I have so much joy from these friendships that I'm making. We're getting involved in the community and in the homeschool community, which brings us to our next little topic to chat about. Whenever we moved out here, we actually had the boys registered in a school, a public school, and we pulled them two days before Meet the Teacher. Felt kind of bad about doing that because as a teacher, I know there is a lot of prep work involved when you're getting ready for your students. And I'm pretty sure my boys already had their teachers had things situated for them and I felt bad to pull them out. But we had a lot of talks about a lot of things and things I'm not going to go into on the video, but we just felt that it was best that we homeschool the boys. And we first decided uh, it was going to be homeschooling for a short time. Uh, we ended up putting the boys on a wait list for a charter school out here. So we have the public school that they were registered for, and there's a really, really great charter school in the area. And we had them on a wait list for the charter school. And we decided that if we got a phone call from them at some point, then we would reconsider. Maybe we would put them back in school. We kind of wanted them in this charter school. We thought it'd be a really great experience for them. We watched their names like go down the list. And Carson, my youngest, actually, he was like, I think first, he was about to get called or pull out the list and brought into the class. And we declined. We declined. We took them off the list because homeschooling is going so great. Oh, who would have thought after, I'm sorry, I feel like I have like a little hair on my nose and it's like tickling the very tip of my nose. It's right there. And now I think I moved it to here. Now it's going to be a thing. Now I'm going to be doing it. Are you itching your face? You're itching your face, aren't you? Um, after we moved out here and all the new stuff of the state and all that and the house and the hoopla and all the craziness that went on with the move. Oh my gosh, the move was crazy. It was so crazy. I should probably tell that story a different day. Um, I just 
didn't foresee the homeschool thing happening, but that's only because my husband had different opinions on homeschooling than I did. So I have nieces that were homeschooled from all through elementary, all through high school, and I got to watch them grow up in a homeschool community and what a blessing that was for them and my brother and sister-in-law. And I got to be around a lot of their little homeschooling buddies, and I was just enamored with how sweet and wonderful and personable they were. And um, I just saw the beauty in homeschooling. But my husband, he wasn't really around that as often as I was, and he had different ideas about homeschooling. So before we even had our boys I had said that I would love to homeschool the boys and he always felt strongly in the opposite direction and uh, we would get in some pretty heated discussions about it I think even a couple times like I cried about it and we didn't even have kids yet which is kind of crazy now looking back but um, whenever we decided to homeschool we saw it as like a short-term thing um, but then it was going so well and so beautifully that now we're not going to put a cap on it. We're going to do it and just kind of write it out and see how it serves our family and um, how the boys are handling it as time goes on. But y'all, they are just doing so good. There's so many things about Weston that have changed uh, for the better. And I'm seeing him come into his little personality. And same with Cars, my youngest. Um, he has... He... <laughs> he's like our little spitfire but he's doing so good and he loves homeschooling he's really the one that I thought would be itching to go in person but he was the first one to say absolutely not I want to homeschool forever and now that Weston's making friends he feels the same way as well and we're going out and doing all these awesome adventures it really fits our lifestyle right now because we are in a new state and we're constantly going out and exploring and adventuring and I'm able to do all that with them during the weekdays and we kind of work school around that so when we first um pulled the plug on public school and put them in homeschool, my husband found an online school called Utah Online. And basically it's a, I guess you could call it a, I don't actually know if it's a public or a charter school, but it's offered through the state and it's under the umbrella of like a public school. Like it's accredited, they have curriculum, it hits all the criteria. And that gave me a lot of comfort because I thought we'd made this decision so quickly. I didn't have a ton of time to research um, curriculum and prepare all of that I was a little bit like oh my gosh and I didn't want to get them home and have them regress because I didn't have them in the right kind of a program I wanted them to actually excel and do great so this program really kind of took care of all of that for me and the curriculum has been fabulous the only thing I don't love about it is it's an online school so while you don't have to do all of the work online you have to check in online pretty frequently um, and all of the, the course materials and stuff, you have to read the lesson to know like what you're supposed to do that day. And I don't like not knowing. I, it's, I think it's maybe a detriment that I'm a teacher um, because I like planning and I like to know in advance when I'm teaching and what's going on. And the way this is taught or set up, they don't have like an outline or things that you're supposed to hit on. I didn't, I didn't love that about it. So we're actually switching. We're switching. Uh, we've already started the process. We've already been accepted in a different program and it officially begins in January. And this new program that we're switching to is called My Tech High. My Tech High is actually offered in several other states. Um, and there may even be some programs very similar, but with a different name. And basically it's the same idea as Utah Online, but as a parent, I'm able to do custom curriculum, meaning I'm responsible for the curriculum so I can piece together the curriculum for them. And I don't need to be tied to the computer. I just didn't like how we had to take the laptop with us all the time and we needed that to teach. And we would sit down to do our lessons and I was grabbing a laptop. Like I wanted to be grabbing pen and paper or art supplies or manipulatives. I didn't want to be grabbing a laptop and I could see my boy's faces just like gloss over whenever I was basically reading for them from the computer of what the like I'm teaching the lesson but I'm reading the lesson to them and who wants to just have a lesson read to them all the time I think it's a great program for certain people and definitely for older kids but I'm excited about the freedom that we're gonna have with this new program program I just went really southern on you there for a second but um, the other thing that's really awesome about it is that they I don't know how to say this but they 
they provide funding for school materials. So if I purchase curriculum, I can turn in a receipt to them and if it meets their criteria, they will refund that. Um, it can cover things for like cost for a printer or computer or if I'm using a, ca a camera for a photography class or something that the boys are doing, they will pay for that as well. There's an amount per class and there is, you know, regulations and red tape and all of that. So you have to kind of like follow some guidelines, but it's so awesome to think that I can now provide certain things that maybe I wouldn't have pulled for before because of the cost. Um, and they kind of help with the load of that. So we are starting that really soon and we're all excited. I've been gathering material for that, knowing that that was come up, coming up here pretty soon. And I think it's kind of awesome to round up the holidays and get going with our new program and finish the year strong. Um, and also as of now, we really don't have plans to put them back in school, which is so wild to say that. Um, I said earlier that I loved homeschooling and I saw how great homeschooling could be for many people. Um, and my husband, his pool was school, <laughs> poet and I didn't know it, um, was the social aspect of school. And I, I agree. I mean, I see the best in both. There's so many great things for both. And I think that's why it's awesome that we have choices because different kids, different families, you know, we all have different needs and um, abilities. And it's great that there's a system out there to support both types of situations. Um, and the whole social, show, wow, social aspect was like a big pool for him. But out here, we had no idea that we were stumbling into the homeschool Mecca. Yeah, like it really is the homeschool Mecca. There's actually a documentary created about homeschooling in Southern Utah. I have met moms who have moved from other states strictly to homeschool their children in Southern Utah. Or I should just say Utah in general, but we're in Southern Utah, so that's like my experience. Um, there's communities, there are, obviously we have programs like My Tech High, there's another one very similar to My Tech High, My camera I went to sleep on me. It was like, girl, you've been talking too long. I just went to sleep so we're picking up from where I left off but I was talking about the other program that sounds like Harmony Ed but I think it's actually I don't remember I don't remember is it Harmony no maybe it actually is called Harmony Ed what is that dating app eHarmony I always want to call it eHarmony but I think it is actually called Harmony Ed oh my gosh okay so they have the same model as my tech high where they kind of fund your homeschooling experience um, which is really awesome. And then certain classes or certain facilities out here will have homeschool classes. So they'll kind of cater to the homeschool community during the day. And then they have another round of classes in the late afternoon for public school kids. My boys go to a weekly nature school. That's a, it's a nature school class for homeschooling kids. It's early in the morning when public school kids are in this are in school or in class and they get to kind of interact and meet other homeschool people in the community and explore nature and climb rocks and play in streams and do all kinds of really cool things. So we have really just hit the jackpot with the homeschool department. We had no idea. And we while I don't love Facebook, I don't get on Facebook a lot for like daily sharing stuff. My jam is really more Instagram. Did I just rhyme again? My jam is really more Instagram. What am I? Wow. Perhaps I should be a, a rapper. No, I shouldn't be. Anyways, my jam is really more Instagram. But I do love the Facebook groups. So there's a lot of really great homeschool groups within the area I found by just doing a random search. And that's really how we've gotten involved in the community and met a lot of people. We've gone on tons of really awesome field trips, which are all sponsored and organized by the homeschool groups. Um, two of my really great friends I've met through the homeschool groups. And it's just been so wonderful. Of course, I love having all this extra time with my boys and really getting to work with them one-on-one -on, -one on their education and kind of working through some kinks and some things. You know, they had a really hard year last year. They were home. We were not going places. I worked a ton being an online teacher through the pandemic. 
um, and they were doing online school and I wasn't able to be involved because I was in my room teaching my students and my husband had just started that new job which he worked remotely for a long time and you know when you start a new job there's a lot of new responsibilities and things you have to learn so they they had a year last year as well and I think it's been really great that we've been able to kind of hunker down gather together and work on some things that kind of flared up over the last year and kind of iron some things out with education and it's just serving our family so well and I'm extremely grateful. I'll talk more about homeschooling as time goes on and maybe I'll do a homeschooling day in the life. If there's anything in particular you'd like me to focus on with homeschooling, um, leave it down below in a comment. The boys are gonna actually start doing a uh, video series on here with me, which we used to put on Instagram and we call it Kids Lit Friday. They love it. So on Fridays we get on the Instagram stories and we talk about some of our favorite books that we're reading and books that they've read on their own, read alouds we've done together, as well as books that we're looking forward to for the upcoming week. And we're gonna start doing that here on YouTube and they're very excited to get involved in that as well. So um, if you want to hear about some of the books we've been reading, that will be coming up here shortly. But I think that is everything. I'm sure I've talked in circles and probably not made a lot of sense, but the main things to get out of all of this is that we took a leap of faith to do something that we felt would be awesome for our family, but had no idea how it would pan out. And it was really hard to get to this point. Really, really, really hard. And we are still kind of walking that path of being in a new home and we still have a garage full of boxes and nothing is perfect. Um, but oh my goodness, it has been so very good and I'm so glad that we didn't let fear keep us from this opportunity and taking taking a bit of a risk. It's actually a lot of a risk. And I, I'm so grateful that life happened and it's led us to this path of homeschool and it's such a wonderful fit for our family. And that my husband, who previously wasn't all about homeschooling, is now all about homeschooling. He calls himself a homeschool dad. He's supported me through this. It was kind of my passion baby, but he's he's kind of coming up alongside me and he sees the good, he sees the change in our boys and it's just going really, really well. So I will see you guys more throughout the month of December. If you liked what you saw today, although this was a bit rambly and chatty, don't forget to hit, <clears throat> obviously, I can't talk. That happens a lot in here too, so just get used to it. Anyway, if you like what you saw here today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is free to you, but it helps support me and our little tiny community that we have here. I will see you in the next video. We have some fun Christmas festive stuff coming up this month and Halloween stuff. What? Yeah, I know. I have these videos, vlogs that I wanted to share from Halloween and I just haven't edited them yet, but I have to share them. They're really cute. You have to see the boys' costumes and we took you guys along to look at some really awesome Halloween houses in the area. So that will be coming up this month as well, but maybe I'll try to throw something festive in those videos so it doesn't feel so like fish out of water. But we're going to be cooking and decorating. We're doing a home tour. Um, lots of fun festive stuff coming up. So I will see you soon. I hope you're doing well. Goodbye, everybody. Oh my gosh, did I not tell you the shirt that I'm wearing for the video? I mean, look, how perfect.